Hi, my name is Carly, and I'm just going to be telling y'all uh, my story about how I found out I was 19 and pregnant and all of that. So if you guys care to hear about it, I guess, stick around. And if you hear background noise, um, the baby is in here and also a puppy. And ignore her laundry that I didn't put up over there, so just ignore that. But anyways, um, let's get into this video. So I found out I was pregnant um, in May 2019. I was just one year out of high school and my baby daddy was just graduating from high school that year. Um, we had been together for a while before this. Um, we were together for three years and then after I'd graduated and he was still in high school, you know how things go. They get weird and hard and complicated and all that. So we ended up breaking up in November of 2018 and we kind of just did our own thing and then we like started talking again and then stopped talking again and I ended up being in a whole nother relationship for about a month and a half ish maybe a little longer than that um with another guy before I got pregnant and before me and my baby daddy like start talking again again. When I found out I was pregnant in May, like I didn't tell very many people, I was very, very insecure about it and I didn't want anyone to know, but the ex that I was with right before, um, him and his friends had found out, and this is like nothing against them, I just wish it didn't have to go that way, but uh, they ended up telling everyone. Hey, you be quiet down there. Like literally every single person in our town knew, people in high school knew, people around me knew like it was just terrible and like people thought it was the exes and not the actual dad like all this stuff but like I knew what I was doing I knew who I was doing I knew who I was doing it with and when I was doing it with them when I got pregnant I really wasn't doing much to prevent it like I wasn't on birth control like I knew what I was doing I'm not stupid but yeah that's how I got pregnant obviously but um, yeah, if I didn't know for sure, I would have never told either one of them that they were the dad because that's not fair to be like put in that situation, especially at our age. So yeah, I was only 19 at the time. I was about to go like two hours away for college. Like I was really excited about this too. So I was pretty bummed when I found out I was pregnant on top of already being like super insecure. I took a pregnancy test because I was late at my, for my period and it was pretty regular. But you know, like, if you're a girl, like, you know how your cycle can change. And I just kind of assumed that was what was happening, but it wasn't. So I told him, I was like, hey, like, my period's late. I just don't know. I ended up taking one, and it was positive. And I actually went to this girl that I used to be friends with. She worked at a pawn shop, and I took it there in the bathroom. And I just started bawling my eyes out because I was like, oh, my God. Like, what? So I took this pregnancy test in a pawn shop. And then I went to her house. Her baby daddy was there too. And me and him actually went to high school together. So we already knew each other. And he made me take another test because he was like, oh, what if it's wrong? Like, just do it. I want to see it. So I took another one. And it was, the first one I took was digital. But the second one I took was like with the lines. So I took the one with the lines. And it like, when it went the first time, like it didn't even like flush back out. Like it was positive. Like there was no denying it. So I was like, a few days after that, I went to the health department to take a pregnancy test. So I went there, got it, and I don't know why I was so nervous. Like, I knew it was going to be positive, but I was like, oh, wait, wait, what if it's not? And what if these tests were just, like, faulty? But, like, I was just trying to, like, talk myself out of it. And it took me a long time to accept it, like, a long, long time. And this is all still in May, like, at the very end of May. And so I kind of tried to keep it a secret from everyone. I didn't want my parents to know because they would be disappointed in me and all that stuff. So I kind of just tried to keep it a secret. I bought my own prenatal vitamins from like just Walmart. They, I guess, had caught on that I wasn't having my period because I still lived at their house. My mom had started searching in my room and all that and she could never find anything. And then on her birthday, actually, she found my prenatal vitamins under my bed. A picture of it to my dad and he was mad. And my sister actually told her just the night before. So she already knew, but she lied to my mom so my mom doesn't trust us no more because we are too loyal to each other well, after that after my parents found out everything was pretty chill like nothing really happened besides the ex finding out and telling people that was really all that happened people started finding out and like questioning me about it and i was like what but we had our gender reveal and it was a girl and her name is cash by the way and then from then on like people didn't really bother me i tried to keep it like on the down low anyways like i didn't post all about it or anything like that 
um, I had a private story with like people that I was close with and like people that I graduated with. That's where I posted most of my pregnancy and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I was super insecure about it. Like so insecure that I literally, I don't even know how I lived because I was so like nervous for people to know. And until I started to show, it was really easy to keep a secret. But after that, like it was even worse. And I worked in a local cafe and uh, people all saw me and all knew and asked questions and it just made it even worse. I actually had a lot of complications at the end of my pregnancy too. So again, popping in, um, they weren't technically complications in my pregnancy. What was going on was my blood pressure was really high and they thought I had a heart murmur. Um, they had to put me on a medicine that was a beta blocker. So basically it could have stunted her growth and I think it did a little bit make her smaller. And they were scared for her growth but um, my pregnancy was considered high risk at that point so it wasn't ideal but there weren't technically complications so I just wanted to clear that up because it sounded way worse the way that I just said that instead of like elaborating and explaining it so with like blood pressure and all that stuff so I was in the hospital a lot started to notice like elevated blood pressure and then it was really high Cash Marie, girl. And then I had medicine for my high blood pressure and then my dosage was too high so my blood pressure got too low and I almost fainted while I was driving. So that was fun. So then I spent like all Sunday morning that day like in the hospital, it was fun. I just stopped working because my blood pressure was too high. Well, I lost a lot of friends in my pregnancy, like all of them pretty much except for one and then like even now like I don't talk to her either. But being a young parent is really hard and I'm not talking about like you have to stay up late and like all of that like none of that like that's hard but like that doesn't compare to like the emotional strain it has on you because you lose friends and people judge you and people talk about you and it just sucks honestly i ended up having her on january 19th 2020 and she is literally the light of my life i would not change it for anything in the world i don't really know how I could do any life without her at this point. Like, I love being a mom. Life has just been so much better. I mean, I've had my problem, but yeah. So if y'all want to hear my birth story, um, that's pretty fun. It was, it sucked. Yeah, so I'm going to introduce y'all to Cash in a little bit in like a different clip. Cash, she's like ripping up boxes behind me. Later, um, when she has clothes on, because she's naked and terrorizing everything. So oh. it's a couple days later and my sinuses sound really bad. Um, no, 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 don't put that in your mouth. So this is Miss Cash, as I promised I would show her and introduce her. Um, she's seven months old, she'll be eight months this month. Um, she does a lot of things. I'm gonna make a whole video like dedicated to like her and like the things she can do and the things she's learned and all that stuff. So I'm gonna make that video, but for now, here's just a little clip of her playing and doing things I said not to do, like grabbing the grass and putting it in her mouth. She is literally a pain in my butt, and if you see these little stains, I hope they come out. I left her five minutes and her dad let her get them on her clothes, so that's fun. Yeah, so here she is. Hi, you gonna say hi, Miss Cash? Say hi. Oh, so cute. But yeah, I've been meaning to make this clip for a while and I just haven't gotten around to it. I finally finished editing the video and I forgot this piece, so I had to come back and get it. But yeah, so I don't know where this will pick up in the video, but here she is doing doing things and here's our dog. Um, he doesn't have a name. I've had him for two weeks and he still doesn't have a name, but it's fine. But yeah, they're best friends. Oh, that was rude. <laughs> that was her leave. But yeah, so there's Miss Cash. Hello. So if you guys like this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more. See you guys later.